By the way, speaking of the Dodger Yankee rivalry, let me just go back. This is a, some of this was before my time, but maybe there are some old timers that will remember this, or maybe there are baseball junkies who are going to remember this. But if you're a Dodger fan or you're just a baseball fan, you got to comment in fans' forum. Chat box is open on Fernando Valenzuela. This history of the Dodgers and Yankees, Dateline 1941. Dodgers are winning the World Series. Mickey Owen drops a third strike behind home plate. Yankees rally. Yankees win the 41 World Series over Brooklyn. Oh, my God. I didn't know that. 1947. Bill Bevan, Yankee starter, throwing a no-hitter. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. Utility man Cookie Lavagetto comes off the bench, hits a pinch hit RBI double. Dodgers win the game in 1947, busting up the first no-hitter. 1955, Brooklyn, young left-hander Johnny Padres at Ebbets Field does what nobody had ever done before, pitches the Dodgers. They beat the Yankees in 1955 in the World Series game. 1956, Don Larson, perfect game Yankees against Brooklyn. Other marquee events in the Dodger-Yankee World Series history book, Sandy Koufax, 15 strikeouts in one game. Mm. Reggie Jackson, three home runs on three pitches in one game. That was awesome. Fernando's first World Series win got the Dodgers to win the World Series in 81. And then there's the incident where the Dodgers win the World Series. Tom Lasorda is dancing on the field. George Steinbrenner throws a punch and breaks his hand. <laughs> there is so much history here. This is the 12th meeting between the Yankees and Dodgers in the Fall Classic. Yankees have won 11 times. Dodgers have won the World Series ring three different times. Man, what this is so cool now 1947 wasn't that jackie robinson's rookie year yes so he but must... i'm not I, I at this point i don't know that jackie did he play in that world series or did he get there the following year I'm not sure he might have signed in 46 went to montreal he might have been called up in 47 i'd have to go back into my baseball encyclopedia to see if he <laughs> played in that world series but mm -hmm. uh that yeah there been so many cool events in games between the Dodgers and Yankees. And it's, it's interesting, you know, you talk about the Dodgers and their championships. I go back to the 60s. They had some matchups, the Dodgers with the Twins, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Like a few times, which I thought was kind of f interesting. And 59 was the Dodgers and the White Sox. Yeah. The Go-Go Sox. The Go-Go Sox. Louis Aparicio and all those guys running the bases with reckless abandon. Well, for me, that, that time frame, 77, 78, and even into 81, I mean, I was a young kid. I was in junior high or high school, and I just remember that Reggie Jackson, three home runs. That uh, was a three pitches. Uh, yeah. yeah. The first pitch each at bat was one of those, I think, was the year of Bucky effing Dent, <laughs> wasn't it? That, that, that put the Yankees into the World Series. Yep. Yeah. And, then, and of course, also, uh, you know, the Dodgers had the great World Series showdowns with the Orioles, the Jim Pancake Palmer era. Mm. That was pretty good, too. Oh, so when, when did Thurman Munson pass away in that plane crash? Uh, 19, well, I covered that. That would have been 1970, boy, you asked me too quick, 78, maybe? So he was maybe only there for one or maybe two yeah. of the World Series? Because mm -hmm. I remember that was a big deal when when he when he passed. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was the captain, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. That was, that was a rough go. But those were classic series in the late 70s. Fall Classic is back. This this is going to be fun. So join us. Fans Forum chat box is open. We want you to share thoughts, opinions, ask questions, make statements about the World Series.